morning y'all it's saturday morning it's only about eight o'clock this morning uh out and about early i gotta go pick up an idler pulley for my durango the thing went out on me so i gotta uh change that out today so i figured while i was out we might as well run in here to the rule king i know they got some stuff in yesterday uh, but i wasn't able to get up here so let's go in there and see what they got going all right y'all they got a few new things in here most of the same stuff so i ain't gonna go over everything real slow the 855 is the steel case 300 they got some 223 varmint here v max 23.99 i think y'all saw that 100 round nine millimeter winchester for 36 bucks still got the cci the streaks like i said y'all saw this in the last couple of videos they got some 22 250 22.97 on that for the VMAX. Good price on that. Super good price right here on some Hornady Black 6.5 Grendel ELD match for 21.99 a box on that. Got some B Crown 230 grain 45 ACP for 20 bucks. Still got the Hornady 450 Bushmaster 300 Blackout. The 855s in here still. The Winchester White Box Hollow Points 50 rounds. Definitely good deals on both of those. Uh, got some PMC Bronze in here. They got some pointed soft points in here for 13.99 on those regular 223 the 350 legend they've had 762 by 51 blazer nine millimeter 17.99 still got two boxes of 38 special hanging out for 27.99 i'm surprised that's still here uh got the m855 and then lots more 40 ammo ink but definitely a few good deals in here this morning all right y'all made it out to rural king as y'all saw in there most of the same stuff but they had a few new things at some super good prices uh stuff like that 22 250 and definitely that 6.5 grendel some smoking deals on that i grabbed a couple things out of there not a whole lot of stuff so i'm gonna head back to the house and get my truck fixed and then i will come back out here next week and hit it again morning y'all it's thursday morning about 9 30 and once again we are wrapping up the ammo hunting week um i've only been out actually one time this week actually a couple times i didn't film the one time because it was the same stuff in here so i hadn't got a whole lot but i have picked up a few things um i've got a few things online that i ordered too for some testing so i got some stuff to go over but we're gonna see if we can't get a few more things today probably just gonna be short and sweet today i'm gonna head up to the rural king for sure first thing this morning uh, i'm probably gonna skip dunham's this week i may run in there and if they got anything new or worth looking at i'll show y'all but i'll probably skip them all together i'll run into walmart and i'm definitely gonna run into the local shop too on the way home because they've got a couple things i for sure want to get out of there so let's get it started by heading into rural king and see what they got for us all right looks like they got quite a bit of stuff in here this morning new they got some vellum 762 by 39 brass 20 rounds for 12.99 still got the 855 still got the uh, steel 300 blackout 223 varmint for 23.99 just gonna hit on what's new in here got some uh 420 rounds of 193 for 340 bucks that's way too high cci 9 you got the street 9 still you got some arms core 22 lr for 379 that's a good deal on those still hanging on to some of the winchester white box hollow points 29.99 on those you got some more uh white box 45 uh 50 rounds for 23.99 not bad at all on those some arms core 300 blackout 220 grain for 20.99 got some browning x point 15.99 147 9 millimeter uh, got the sig v crowns 115 grain 16.99 the blazers 17.99 so not terrible at all on those got some Aguila here for 14.99 115 grain so i'm gonna get a couple of those for sure got the 223 steel the 350 legend 23.99 76251 a bunch of that still their arms core 223 is 9.99 got the Aguila super extra hollow points for 4.99 still got the 855s over here for 100 bucks it's just too high on those and then still got the 40 smith and wesson ammo ink looks like they got some more shot shells in uh 7.99 for the number eight shot target loads got some 20 gauge sabo slugs in here 11.48 for those got some three and a half inch turkey load number five shot 24.99 not bad at all on that and they got the same thing in three inch for 19.99 so good prices on both of those and they also got some more aguila buckshot mini shells i'm definitely gonna grab one or two of those because i'm running low on those 20 gauge number two the number five fetter and then the double alt buck rio still so they definitely got a few interesting things in here and a couple good deals i'm gonna grab for sure 
All right, y'all, made it out to Rural King. As y'all saw, they had a pile of new stuff in there. Uh, everything from shot shells, the 22 uh, pistol rounds, all kind of different stuff in there. So I definitely picked up a handful of things out of there. Like I say, I'm gonna run by the Dunham's and the Walmart, and then I'm gonna stop in the local shop because there's a few things I know for sure in there I wanna pick up from them. Uh, if there's anything new in any one of them places, I'll let y'all have a look. If not, I'm gonna call it for the week right there, and then we'll head back to the house, and I'll show y'all what we got. All right, y'all, back at the house. Uh, I got a pile of ammo to go through today, so I ain't gonna dilly-dally too long, but before I get into it, if y'all would, please reach down and hit that thumbs up button if you enjoy my videos. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit that bell notification icon so you can get notified when I upload these new videos. I'm sure y'all probably noticed it was pretty quick as far as the out and about shopping portion this time. Like I say, that's because I ended up with so much ammo, I didn't really plan on that, but I kept running across such good deals, so I, I couldn't help myself. So let's get right on into it let's start with the rule king the first day i went in there was actually on friday and i didn't even film it in there because i was just running in there to see what was still going on but they had a few things in there still from the last week this 308 winchester arms core they still had this is 1399 for 147 grain 308 1399 is a steal right now so i had to pick up one more box of that and i went ahead and grabbed this last box of eldx 178 grain 308 that they've been hanging on in there they didn't have but one box i've got actually one box of this already but like i say it's been sitting around in there so i figured i might as well go on and grab it while it was still in there 27.98 for this box of 308 like i say it's 178 grain eldx so it's, it's good ammo for sure that's why it's a little more expensive but uh still not too bad for what it is so i got the last box of this that they had and then i went ahead and grabbed one more box of this number eight high velocity uh high brass dove load this is really good stuff like i say it's high brass so it ain't just your average old target load type stuff so uh uh, $8.99 a box for these so very good price on number eight high velocity high brass low 12 gauge so i got one box of that and then as y'all saw today they had a ton more stuff in there i mean it's like every time i go in there they got more and more stuff and just more different stuff so uh first thing i got in there was some more nine millimeter y'all know my thoughts on nine millimeter full metal jacket in my opinion there is no such thing as too much or even enough nine millimeter so these were $14.99 to be honest with you that's my buy price right now if it's if it's 16.99 17.99 i'm gonna pass on it i know a lot of people's gonna grab it up for that because y'all prices in y'all's area is much higher but 14.99 is what i'm seeing the, the better deal for here uh now if i needed need need needed it 16.99 7.99 i'd be buying it up but right now 14.99 i'm gonna grab a couple boxes every time i see that so 115 grain full metal jacket nine millimeter aguila for 14.99 a box i got two boxes of that they also have more winchester white box 45 in there 230 grain full metal jacket uh this was 23.99 a box so good price right now on 45 acp uh as y'all know that high point experience i actually ran through about 70 75 rounds out there believe it or not on and off camera uh trying to run that thing in a little bit so i want to replenish a little bit of that so i got one box of that 23.99 for 45 acp then i grabbed this last box of this browning x point nine millimeter they had in there x point 147 grain uh, these are like the hollow points. It's got the little weird insert built into the into the uh, end of it, like a little cross cross hatch star type of thing so they had one box of this left i actually have tested these in 45 acp but i don't have any in nine so i was glad to see that something something different to do some testing on these were 15.99 for a box so i got one box of those then they had the gila mini buckshot in there again so had to get me another box of these these were 17.99 for a box y'all know the deal with those the little mini shells uh, now these are seven pellets of number four buck and one and uh four pellets of number one buck so it's a mixture in there so pretty neat stuff right there like i said 17.99 for those those run really good out of my maverick 88 and my uh, 590 shockwave so i got one box of that and then they had this bellum 762 by 39 brass case just 123 grain fmj 20 to a box here um now this is brass case but i'm not sure if this is still if this is boxer primed or if it's still Berdan primed uh somebody down in the comments can let me know this is serbian made ammo really the only reason i got this because i actually don't have any 
brass K762, and I figured maybe I'd do a little comparison, brass versus steel, something like that. But like I say, just basic 123 grain full metal jacket, brass K762 by 39. These were $12.99 a box. So honestly, I wouldn't even have bought these if I had any brass. Like I say, it's just some kind of little curiosity I want to do a little comparison on. So got two boxes of those. And then moving on along to my local shop, I got a bunch of good deals on stuff in there this week. Uh, first thing I picked up was they had some of this 45 Colt Cowboy load, just a 255 grain, just lead nose stuff. Uh, I now don't have any of this, so I figured I might as well grab a box of the 45 Colt lead and uh, Cowboy load while I was in there. $29.99 for a box of 20 on these Hornady Cowboy loads, 255 grain. And then just by chance, they got in some new 4570 in there, the Winchester Super X 4570 300 grain jacketed hollow points in there. And as y'all know, I just picked up that 4570 Henry and I've only got a couple types of ammo. So this will be another good one once I go out and start doing tests, group tests or jelly tests or whatever. So I uh, just got one box of this because this stuff's expensive. $43.99 for this box of 4570. Uh, it's pretty much that price everywhere right now. That's that's one downside to the 4570. It is, is a very expensive round to, to have fun with. So got one box of the 4570. And then the rest of the stuff I got from my local shop is actually all 40 Smith & Wesson, y'all. So uh, as y'all know, I've got a Glock 20 10 millimeter and I, if I've done a couple 40 Smith & Wesson tests out of that, but I have a lot of people always on my case about no showing no love to the 40 Smith & Wesson and want me to do some more 40 Smith & Wesson tests. So um, I went and picked up a, a, a tool this week to run them out of. I just picked up a little Glock 27, uh, the little semi-compact um, Glock 40 Smith & Wesson. It's because I got a smoking deal on it. It was a Leo trade-in. It looks practically brand new and I got a very good deal. So that's the reason I went with the 27 over the 22 or the 23. So I figured it'd be good for doing some tests and I can do the, use the Glock for the longer barrel and then, or the Glock 20 and then use that 27 I got. So, but anyway, so I had to pick up some ammo. I got a little bit of 40 Smith & Wesson, but not a whole lot. And I don't have any full metal jackets. So I wanted to pick up some full metal jackets. So I got this box of this Spear Lawman flat nose full metal jacket. These were $21.99 a box. So that's a great deal on 40 Smith & Wesson right now. And then I'll show you here in a second, I got even better deals on some of the other stuff. So just 180 grain, 40 Smith & Wesson Lawman. So I got one box of that for $21.99. And then like I say, staying with the 40 Smith & Wesson, I got a box of these Underwoods bonded jacketed hollow points, which are the gold dot projectiles. So 165 grain gold dots loaded by underwood great deal on these also at $19.99 for a box of these right now that's a, a really good deal on gold dot hollow points of any kind especially loaded by underwood so got one box of those $19.99 and then we got another bag from the local shop so i got another box of full metal jacket here i went with the winchester this time same thing though 180 grain full metal jacket now these are flat nose as well so uh these were $20.99 for the box $20.99 for winchester white box 46 Smith & Wesson is a, a great deal right now. So I got one box of those, like I say, $20.99. And then y'all saw last week they had these Ranger T-Series in there. He had three boxes of them and tried to get me to buy all three of them, but I just picked up one box at a time. And the more I got thinking about it, the more I thought to myself, I'm gonna just go on up there and get them other two boxes too, because these are the Ranger T-Series, 180 grain, 40 Smith & Wesson. Y'all know how good these T-Series have done in other calibers in my testing. So went up and got both uh, the last two boxes he had of these these were $29.99 for a box of 50 that's a fantastic deal right now for these ranger t-series so got the last two boxes of those they had and then another absolute smoking deal in there is these federal hsts in 40 smith and wesson 50 round boxes of 180 grain hsts for $29.99 same as those ranger t-series so 30 bucks for 50 HSTs in 40 Smith & Wesson. That's an absolutely smoking deal right now for HST. These are some of the best rounds out there, HST, in pretty much any caliber I've tested. So uh, they've got a big old stack of these. I may go up and get a couple more boxes this week, to be honest with you. So 30 bucks, like I say, for 50 rounds of HST in 40 Smith & Wesson. And then last but not least, y'all, I told you I had a pile of stuff to go through this week. Um, I had some stuff sent to me by Eric Bennett. Eric has sent me 
me uh, some ammo in the past. He's actually the one who got me started on the jelly testing. He sent me that original uh, yellowish block of medical gel, which which got me hooked on the whole jelly testing. So I, I can't thank him enough for that because it's been great. I, I've loved doing it. Y'all seem to enjoy watching them, so I really can't thank Eric enough for that. Like I say, he sent me ammo in the past as well, and this time he sent me a few more boxes of ammo out of just out of the blue. I wasn't even expecting it. So one thing super awesome he sent me is some federal 410 uh number seven and a half shot y'all know y'all heard me say 410 is one of the things that i have the hardest time finding around here so definitely glad to see this so uh and this is actually three inch so three inch i, I don't have any any three inch 410 at all so i can't thank eric enough for this so i got one box of three inch 410 number seven and a half shot really really can't I, like i say i'm, I'm super pumped to get this because i don't have any three inch 410 so i really do appreciate that eric so he sent me one box of that he also sent me a box of three and a half inch long beard number five shot in 12 gauge as y'all know I've, I've recently picked up that benelli nova that's chambered in three and a half so he i guess he's wanting some more punishment on my shoulder here so 1200 velocity that won't that shouldn't be too terrible but it's it's two full ounces of number five shot so it's gonna have some kick behind it for sure so uh sent me like i say one box three and a half inch number 12 five shot thank you very much again eric for that and then he sent me two boxes of 350 legend so y'all know uh i've talked about it the last probably for the last month about picking something up in 350 legend i've i've gradually been getting ammo for it i've got a couple boxes of ammo and now i've got a couple more obviously since he sent these to me he sent me a box of 145 and a box of 150 so that'll be awesome once i do pick that up uh, the question I have though is what would y'all rather see me pick up in 350 legend? I've been on the fence is the reason I hadn't even got something yet uh, Would you rather see me just get a, a Upper for my AR or would y'all rather see me pick up a dedicated bolt gun like a savage axis or a Ruger American something like that. Let me know down in the comments which one y'all rather see like I say I'm totally on the fence on it uh, Either one is fine with me, but let me know what y'all rather see and then last but not least he sent me a, a very old box of Remington Golden Bullets. These are 22 long rifle Remington Golden Bullets. I believe what these are 36 grain, I'm pretty sure. I don't even see any marking on the box, but I'm pretty sure Golden Bullets 36 grain. I'll be honest with you, I don't even I don't even want to run these things just because the box is so doggone cool. I'm not really an ammo collector, but that's a very cool box with that Remington. I don't know when they stopped using this design. It may not be as old as I'm thinking it is, but very cool box. It's a full box of these Remington uh, Golden, Golden Bullet hollow points. So very, very very cool little thing for him to send me there i really like that box but that was it for the week y'all like i say a pretty good haul of different types of stuff here i really didn't realize i was even getting that much until it came to the end of the week and i started putting it up here to go over it but hey you can't never have too much ammo in my opinion y'all know how i feel about it but let me know down in the comments what y'all think about this week's pickup what y'all looking forward to seeing testing on uh let me know again what's going on y'all's area or things changing at all are they staying about the same as far as prices as far as availability let me know down in the comments what's happening y'all check out my affiliate links down in the video description you know the deal with amazon if you shop through there anyway hit that link up first it goes straight through amazon like normal from there and anything you buy anywhere on the site after that i get a kickback from them so i really do appreciate that check out those axle ear pro affiliate links for some really good deals on some good ear pro again i appreciate all my range game members for reaching out and hitting that join button that really does help appreciate every single person who supports the channel by watching the videos hitting that thumbs up subscribing to the channel and again leave me some comments down below let me know what y'all think about the ammo situation this week another huge thanks to eric i really can't thank you enough for everything you've done for the channel i really really do appreciate it brother i've got a lot of jelly testing already filmed just got to get it edited and uploaded i got another new tool video that's already done uh, i'm going back out this weekend to do some more testing and some more videos so y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for all that and in the meantime stay safe stay prepared and i'll see you soon